Please look at this mound of cauliflower rice that I just made. This is how we do it. Everyone's eating rice cauliflower, but do you know how to make it? But first, have you subscribed to this channel? If not, do so now. Before I show you how to make rice cauliflower, let's talk about why you should be making your own at home. Let's start with price. You can get this entire head of cauliflower for about $3 at the grocery store. Or the same price, you can get a whopping cup of pre-cooked stinky cauliflower. Your next best option is to get the fresh rice cauliflower in the produce section, but it is exactly the same price as a whole head of cauliflower. This head's gonna make twice as much as this. And then for twice the amount of money, you can get frozen cauliflower. But there's a time and a place for everything, so I'm not gonna diss it completely. What I love about making my own rice cauliflower is that it doesn't get as wet as those other products. So you're going to get something a lot closer to, to actual rice. If you're making a puree or something, use whatever variety you want. So there's a couple ways you can do it. The best, fastest, easiest way is in your food processor. But if you don't have a food processor or you don't wanna break that big old thing out, you can use a cheese grater. You're just gonna cut your cauliflower into big chunks and grate it down the side. This way is fine if you don't have to make a ton of it. Cauliflower rice, there you go. But to get the most bang for your buck, do it in the food processor. And you don't have to use this fancy little blade. I actually don't like this. It makes it too fine and wet. So I like using the regular blade that comes in your food processor. So let's get to it. Just cut it into big chunks and head straight to the food processor. Don't worry about taking the florets off of the stems. I like some of the stem in there because it gives you more of that potato-y, rice -y kind of texture. I do like to do it in batches, but you know, don't freak out, it only takes literal seconds. I like to start just by pulsing it. Five pulses and you're done. I mean, look at that, guys. It's dry, it's fluffy, it's perfect little pieces. For extra insurance, because you do want this as dry as possible, I like to just lay it out on some paper towels or stick it straight into a Tupperware container or a plastic bag that has some paper towel in it. And this will keep in your fridge just like this for about four or five days. It's a good meal prep step. The only downside about all of this versus buying it like this is it does make a little bit of a mess. Oh, you want me to blow your mind real quick? You can do this with broccoli as well. Please look at this mound of cauliflower rice that I just made for $3 versus for the same price. Now sometimes convenience is worth the price, especially if they're buy one, get one free. I mean, seriously, look at this. This is how we do it. The greatest benefit of this prepackaged produce rice is that it is pretty dry. You get half as much, so again, you tell me what's more important to you, cost or convenience. And if this wasn't reason enough, let me show you another reason why fresh cauliflower reigns supreme. Got two nonstick skillets heating up. Listen, don't worry about writing everything down. I will post the recipe in a link below. I like to use a little combination of a neutral oil and then a little sesame oil. Fried rice is probably my favorite thing to do just with leftover things in the fridge. I like to start with a little onion. Get your skillet hot. So if you're adding other vegetables like bell peppers or whatever, celery to this, you wanna do this first and then add in your rice. I'm also adding in a little bit of like fried sauteed cabbage to this because if you're not putting cabbage or slaw mix into your fried rice, you're doing it wrong. It just like goes away, it blends in. Your kids don't even realize they're eating more veggies. I like to add a little bit of ginger and garlic. You could do fresh, but I don't have that kind of time. I take a shortcut with my spices, you know. I already went through the trouble of ricing my own cauliflower. In this pan, I'm going to add in $7 worth of frozen riced cauliflower. And in this pan, I'll add in about $2.50 worth. The pan on the left is going to cook a lot faster than the one on the right because I have about a third the amount. It looks to me like the frozen cauliflower rice is just steaming a bit. It takes a while for the moisture to get out of there. All right, the frozen cauliflower um, is cooking faster, so maybe it's an alternative for if you're in a really big hurry. Okay, so once you get your rice browned the way you want it, 
I like to move it off to the sides, melt a little more butter, and then add in your scrambled egg. Salt and black pepper, just like you would make scrambled eggs at home. This one's about done. I'm gonna add in some frozen veggies, a splash of rice vinegar, and then a little bit of soy sauce, and we're done. Okay, that one's done, but wait for the star. This is a weekly staple in my house because my kids love it. It's a great way to hide those veggies, and they never really ask, is this cauliflower or where's the rice? The reason why you don't want a ton of moisture is because in fried rice, you want that fried, kind of crispy, toasted rice texture. So that's the benefit of using the fresh cauliflower rice versus the frozen, because it's got a better chance of getting that toasted texture. So this cauliflower rice has held its shape. It hasn't turned into mush. It's nice and toasted brown. I'm gonna finish it off just like I did the other one. And that's how it's done. Boom, there you have it. The main difference here is the sheer amount that you get using freshly riced cauliflower from a head of cauliflower. This whole pan is filled up and I didn't even use but about half to two thirds of it. The other main difference you're gonna notice is the texture. The fresh cauliflower got nice and toasted all the way around and it still has a little bit of a bite to it. It's good. Still great flavor because they're cooked the same, but the frozen one is just a tad, tad bit mushier. Making freshly riced cauliflower at home is super easy and way more affordable. So remind me again why you're not making your own freshly riced cauliflower. For more great videos like this, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and click the bell so you never miss one of these great tips.